What up, what up, Wheatfield? What up, y'all? It's Wheat, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield, y'all. Welcome to you. If you're new, hey, welcome to you too. This is your girl, La T, here at Tears and Wheat Tarot Show. You show not to ever know what you're going to get. We are rising May the 7th, beloved. Uh, happy birthday to all the Tauruses. Uh, great day to you guys. Grand rising, rise and shine is the message on the cup, beloved. And uh, yeah, we're going to see. Because we've risen, and our vibration feels a little bit low in the toilet, actually, yo. So we are working on raising that vibration up. We are listening to some 963 hertz, the God frequency. Something to lift our resonance. We got some uh, cards. Y'all know what it is. It's going to be a reading. It's going to start slow. It could start slow. You know. Um, raise your vibration. See, it's a mantra that calls to light me up. I feel like um, today is terrific Tuesday. It is. It's a great day to have a great day. That's for sure, right? But um, that doesn't mean that you always wake up feeling so great, or that you don't have things going on in life, like life be life in, you know what I'm saying, and that's what I'm feeling, thank you to the most high God, the Alpha and Omega for bringing the message, for coming in, for filling us, for giving us every spiritual tool we need in order to get through the day to come out victorious, but we know that the victory is already called, it's already written, and we are living, we are going through the process of experiencing and as we go through the process of experiencing, we ask you to keep us mindful to count every blessing. To count every blessing, beloved. Um, it is a thing to, two minutes on the clock, exactly. It is a thing to remember that the affliction that you may experience, um, it's a blessing to experience it. I mean, not everybody think about it depending on what it is, you know what I mean? But I feel like if you survived whatever it is that you're going through or whether whatever has tested you, what has come against you, that you are an overcomer, you are a conqueror. And you can take that experience it, transmute it, and use it for the good, beloved, you can. Is it going to be easy? No. But will it be worth it? Yes. Rise above it and let your light shine, is what I'm feeling. See. Facing my shadows removes darkness from the world. That's definitely that. Right? So it's time for somebody to face their shadows and remove a piece of darkness from the world. Right? My aura is magnetic to golden opportunities is here and we also see clearing karma you know I feel like once you face your shadows and remove that darkness you lighten your aura right you change your energy field you change your vibration and then you become a magnet to the things that you are really wanting you desiring see raise your vibration raise it Raise your vibration is a mantra that caused me to light up, to light up, to lighten up. And you are definitely protected by the Most High God, the Eternal, that which created all things. Voice of the soul, soul wants to speak. I think we saw a message of guidance. That's the card that I'm seeing, a message of guidance. Okay, I guess that was a confirmation message of guidance on this right yeah duality and somebody needing help you know managing you know the spirit world and the physical world um i saw a live with michelle from life mantra tarot and one of the cards that was big in her reading for the new moon energy new moon and taurus today um was uh balancing practicality with spirituality right duality And just because you're a spiritual being or you understand your spiritual essence, you may be on a spiritual journey, you know, developing a little bit, a more of an intimate relationship with the Most High God. Um, 
rather than, you know, other ways of connecting. But I feel like, again, that relationship is very personal. And as you go on a personal journey with the Most High, it doesn't mean that you're not going to experience, I mean, quite frankly, you may experience it. Uh, your sensitivity may be uh, heightened. I'm feeling like experiencing trials and tribulations of the chosen, right? You go through things, but you also um, know that you are protected, that everything is going to be okay, beloved. That uh, your spirit guides are always with you. See, karmic relationships. You may be going through something on this day. Look, karma. They wanted to pull that out. Karma. Karmic relationships. Karma. You're going to deal with a lot of things. Submission. I'm feeling surrendering onto the Most High God, beloved. Yes. Submitting onto the Most High God, onto the will of the Most High God. Submitting onto the lesson that you're learning. Allowing it to flow. Get the lesson and go on about your business. Now, again, every lesson is not easy. Some of the shit that we experience is just absolutely horrific. It's something over here. This one. That one, secrets. Some stuff is horrific. You know, some secrets that people keep. The fact that people don't always talk about the betrayals to an eight, breaking down to a 10. They don't always think about, yeah, the spirit is moving. They don't always speak about the betrayals. They don't speak about all the stuff that they go through, the atrocities that they face. Now, things that are deeply rooted, that they hold tight, that they hold within the chest, within their heart, or their solar plexus, I'm hearing, that needs to be broken down, you know, unlocking your ability to create, to be rooted and feel secure, beloved. It's time to rise. So that you may shine. I'm uh, also hearing secrets revealed. When secrets are revealed, whether it's those atrocities and you choose to reveal them, or your it comes back into recollection and you feel them like this happened to me, or the Most High God is bringing forth akashic information and revealing onto you Think those secret things that are revealed to you, even about you. When you go into hermit mode and you really develop that personal relationship, happiness is here, but I feel it in reverse. I feel sadness that somebody is sad, that they are struggling with dealing with those secrets, the things, those harsh endings, the betrayals and the hurt, again, those atrocities, you know, the afflictions, the transgressions, you know, all of it. It may oftentimes leave you with more questions than feeling like answers. Message of forgiveness. I definitely feel duality. And a message to pass on. The message to pass on is forgiveness. You know, forgiveness is not for the other person or the other party. You know, it is, it is for you beloved so that you may open up space so that you may raise your vibration so that you can shine raise your vibration so that you can shine because when we hold on to bitterness and unforgiveness you know what i mean it only eats up space within us mirror see as within so without have compassion for yourself and others. Everything is a reflection. When we change, everything changes. When you raise your vibration, then your experience in the plane raises. You may still, you will still go through afflictions. You will still have events that happen in your life, beloved, but how you experience them will be very, very different. I am the source of my joy and I create my happy ever after. That awareness will help you write this happiness card that's upside down. This. You create your happy ever after. I am the I am the most high God is the source of our joy. The master's joy. The joy of the alpha and omega. Yes. 
Thank you to the Most High God for your presence. Thank you so much for my awareness of your presence, that you are omnipresent, that it is omnipotent, that it is everywhere, and it is in everything, beloved. I may not understand the purpose always, and having the secrets revealed may lead me to feel in a certain kind of way, but I understand that forgiveness, balancing my spirituality and my physicality, hey, Wow. Hope. Hope. Yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery. Today is the gift of the Most High God, which is why we call it the present. Hope. See, that heart looks fragmented, right? But the cracks and the healing of the stars is what make it beautiful. Obsidian protection, but I also feel death, endings, and new beginnings. To the well-organized mind, death is but the next great adventure. Next great adventure. An ending only to have a new beginning. Yes, something like that. Meditation. And we said that we did not meditate on this ride. We didn't. We got right up and into business and doing stuff. And even when we were getting everything out to read, we noticed the self. Like, we didn't meditate most high, most high said no. Temporary halt. Things might be, you know, halted right now. But it's going to open back up. And I also feel, you know, now and then it's good to pause in your pursuit of happiness and just be happy. To stop pursuing happiness and just be happy. See, this happiness is the reverse, right? But maybe because you're pursuing it, maybe it's one of those situations where it's like, oh, when this and when that, right? Um, when I get this, when I get that, um, I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when. Happy is not a destination. Happy is now. It is a state of being. And you can always raise your vibration to still hold on to joy and to happiness, um, no matter what's happening, right? Because joy, again, is not of this world, beloved. It is not. It is something that uh, belongs to the Most High God. It delights in all of its creation. And... For us to remember, to hold on to our joy, not that the world, the happenings, the events, the tragedies, the atrocities, the idiot, the insignificant little things that trip you up. Like, look at it as just that little thing. It's that little thing. You know what I mean? Like, I never did mind about the little things. Bloodstone. Meditate. You have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength and receive blindness. Do you want that? No. I am the source of my joy. I create my happy ever after. So spirit said. Spirit. We see authenticity. All things for educational purposes. We educational purposes. This, this, burdens. I accept your help. Change me, divine beloved. Thank you to the Most High God, the Spirit. I feel you moving. Change me, beloved, divine beloved, into one who gratefully receives all help you send. Let me release the useless idea that I must carry the burden alone. Let me trust that you send the right assistance. May I feel worthy and accepted. May I feel worthy and accepted. Anything else in here? That's it. We got some stress relief and self-care cards.
Daddy Love is here. Learn to love all of your flaws. Love yourself completely, flaws and all. Give yourself a mental hug. Spirit wants to say something to you. Give yourself a mental hug. Send love to your body. Tell your body you love and appreciate it. Love and appreciate on you. The being that is you. Your divine essence and your physical vessel, beloved. Thank each part of your body one by one, starting with your feet all the way to the top of your head. Now thank your internal body, including your heart, your lungs, and other organs that come to mind. Now thank all those parts of you that aren't working so well. Apologize to any part of the body you may have neglected over time. Notice how this self-love makes you feel. Does it make you feel happy? Does it raise your vibration? Allow you to shine in your present, current, present situation. Yeah, it does. Let's get this one. Look at that, y'all. Be present. Wow. Acknowledge your loved ones. What loved one did we just talk about? Self. Acknowledge self. That you love self. That you love everything about self. Yes. Um, acknowledge the fact that Everything is working together for your good. Even the things that you feel like aren't working so good. They all come together and work together, beloved. They do. The best place to start is by showing yourself the power of being present. Even for just a few minutes before you begin your work or school day. <laughs> See, we did not take you know, the opportunity to show ourselves that we are just present, to thank the Most High God for being present, to be animated and activated, to be presently aware of the Most High God in its creation, and that it is in everything, that it is omnipresent. And with that omnipresence, it's omnipotence. It is all-powerful. It can do all things according to its will, beloved. And I know that is where my provision comes from. It is where my joy <laughs> comes from. <laughs> Thank you, Alpha. That is where the joy comes from. And so to allow the little things of life to drain my joy is... You know, raise the vibration. Some things are tough. On this day, people are grieving. People are hurt. And they don't feel, they don't feel joy. They don't feel happiness. And happiness is in reverse. And I touch you in the spirit. And I intercede in prayer. And I pray that your heart be healed. And I pray that it be lifted. I lift you up to the Most High God, to the Eternal, in prayer, and asking for the soothing, the nourishing, the nurturing of the comfort of our Mother energy, the strength of our Father energy be with you, that it carries you through. It carries you until you are strong enough to stand again on your own, beloved. Knowing that with the eternal, you're never alone. And you never have to do it on your own. Be something mindful. Experience mindfulness through an everyday act. Y'all know how we do. We are, look, mountain meditation. Meditate. <laughs> But we always, you know, offer all things up to the Most High God, everything. You know, that's one of the ways that we are mindful, you know, mindful, eat something mindfully. So like when we eat, we offer 
the food up to the most high God. Not just bless it, but offer it. Like, offer. Do you want this? Omega. Do you want this? Which bite do you want? Do you want to take a sip? Alpha? No. Omega, would you like a sip? Yes. And that mindfulness says to me that the eternal Lord of all of creation is aware of experiencing its own creation through me. My soul, I am a pixel, a piece of the Most High God itself. And as we experience life, the Most High God experiences it with us. Like it experiences it as us through the way that we perceive it, through this mindset, through this thought process in every possibility, in every potentiality. And as we work to develop our personal relationship with the Most High, you know, we be changed, right? It, it allows itself to know itself, its mind in a very intimate, a very, I don't know, it's not duality. And it's personal, it's intimate, but I don't even know how to even, I don't even know if there's a word to express, like the closeness, right? The fact that you are completely engulfed and surrounded by the presence of the Most High at all times to know that there is nowhere that you could ever go, that you are always held within, that you could never be lost, you are always home, that you are always in the presence thereof of the Most High God. Always, always, beloved, always. And with that knowingness, we can rise above any outward projected situation. Even the atrocities. We can we, we can we can meet the atrocities and the tragedies in such a way that you affect creation with your with your heart, with your love, with your mindset. Because the ending has already been called, beloved. It has. And we are victorious. We are conquerors. Sometimes we just need to remember it. When we are going through the experience of it. Lives. Shine your light. Your light for all to see. For it is a gift of the present to behold your light, to see thee, to experience it, to sense it. To sense everything. Even the grief below it. For when we grieve, we know that we have loved. And for that, we have gratitude. On this day, I wish you joy and happiness and peace in all the things that we already prayed for. I do intercede for thee. I do. I intercede for you know your girl <laughs> for self okay because uh, it was a good reminder to not allow the little things to interrupt happiness to hold on to joy the massive joy the joy of the alpha and omega again the world didn't give it and the world can't take it away and to remember to meditate so that we put ourselves in the right mind state 
to meet the day and any challenges that may come our way. Asking for the Most High God to deliver every tool, every gift that we would need. Because we know at the end of it, we will succeed. <laughs> this is how we experience the day, right? So that those little things don't diminish our joy experience. Ashe, Ashe. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on the Tears of Week show. We've shown up, never know what you're going to get. We just wanted to bring this quick rising message before we really go get the day started. Beloved, jumping into the other services. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The one that pays the bills, I say, well, that thing, the Most High God provides and they pay the bills, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's vision is on to the Most High God that delivers it. But that's the service that we do. That's the, another partnership. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that. And we will catch you guys on the later, maybe a little lunchtime message or just wait until after all of that is done and we'll see. But if you guys are interested in more content, go down through them archives, beloved. Check out some of the titles and see what jumps out and resonates with you. Now, the most high guy, they, they, they title it. So, I'm just saying. Anywho, we love you. We do. We, we be like, is that what you really want to put? They be like, yes. They be like, okay, well, we submit to your instruction. That's what you want to put. Put it, okay, and, and post. So that's just that. To the next now, y'all, we love you like we love us because we love the Alpha and the Omega <laughs> that made us, that called us to be the infinite intelligence breathing. The world lives in this day. And that's definitely something to celebrate. Rise and shine, y'all. To the next now. Ashe.